Welcome to this introductory video on the waves topic. We're going to cover three parts. The first part you'll cover in this topic is called multi-slit interference. Last year we looked at two-slit diffraction patterns. You would have seen something like this turn up on a screen if you'd ever tried this with a laser. This year we're going to look at what happens if you add in lots of slits. So three, four, five, six, seven, a thousand slits and see the differences. We're also going to do some calculations around these diffraction patterns. The second thing we're going to look at is standing waves. Last year we looked at waves that are moving along. So for example, if you tied a rope to a tree and flicked it just one time, you would have seen a wave that travels along the rope moving. Whereas this year, we're going to look at what would happen if you wiggled a rope up and down and it would create this kind of pattern. So it looks like the waves are just standing still. We'll cover when standing waves occur and what you need to know about them. The last thing we're going to look at is the Doppler effect. Now last year when we looked at waves, they were coming out nice and evenly from a source. But this year, when you look at the wave source, whatever's giving off those waves, is moving, we're going to see how it distorts the waves that come out. And this is what happens when a car is driving towards you and goes past you. You hear a difference in sound. It goes, Nyeow. so the pitch drops Nyeow, when it's coming towards you, and it drops to Nyeow, as it travels away from you. This is because of these distorted wave patterns coming out. We're going to look at this in more detail. So for each of these three topics, we're going to have three videos. The first two videos are going to cover any important lessons you need to remember from level two. It's not going to reteach this stuff, it's just going to remind you of what the important parts are. You can go back and restudy them from level two videos if you need to. And the new learning. The third video is going to cover purely example questions. So we can see how everything we've learned from the first two videos applies in an exam. And I'm using questions from the 2006 exam that are still relevant to you now. So nine videos in total, three for each of these topics.